What's up, folks? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. It has been a minute, but today we're doing a Is It Worth It to Buy Commander Masters Draft Booster Box. Uh, this is for my Facebook group member, David H. Thank you for sponsoring the video. And uh, we got 24 packs, and we're going to see if it was worth it. These are, uh, depending on where you're looking, mid-200s up to $300 uh, shipped with tax. And, of course, this has Jeweled Lotus, has all the free spells for my Coria Commander decks, so on and so forth. So, uh, we're going to see if we can total up enough money to make it worth it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you can get on the giveaways we do here. And uh, let's get started. So, our first hit will be a Wretched Confluence, Death Keeper. So, first pack was only two hits there. We do get a borderless path to exile. Uh, we'll see if that counts. Try the <clears throat> try the C. Um, you know, I may I may just add all the rares and stuff in, but I'm pretty sure path path may be worth worth adding to the total, especially with that cool Kamigawa ish art. Woo! Pack number two already showing the beef with a Gisela blade of gold knight. So. Uh, David, good start, dude. Good start. Good stuff. I'm pretty sure Ashnod's Altar is going to bring the beef as well. Let's keep going. So I've been open to a lot of this lately. I don't know if you guys are uh, fans of live pack rips or not, but we do them in the Facebook group. But I've also started it on a new platform recently called Drip Shop. It's a live selling platform similar to some others that you might be familiar with. But uh, we do tons of giveaways and stuff there every night. And it's just a good time. Uh, if you haven't joined already, I'll uh, put my promo code down below, and that'll get you some free credit to spend. Heliod Suncrown, beef after beef there. Um, some free credit to spend on the platform. You can come hang out with me. You never have to spend money. I'm happy if you guys just come and watch, hang out, chat, just have a good time. But uh, yeah, check it out if you don't mind. At least just sign up. That way it looks like I'm making an effort. And, uh, you know, I want you guys there. Efficient Construction Loyal Retainers for another Mythic. Omnixilis. Slimefoot. See, these packs are... Here, here's the... here's the. Even if you don't get a superb box of this, you get so... Especially if you're just now getting into Magic and playing Commander, you get so many usable cards that you need to build decks with. Like, I feel like you could open a box of this and build your first commander deck just out of the box or take this box and one of your favorite pre-cons and really do some upgrades. Avatar of Slaughter, Hula Mog, The Ceaseless Hunger. Big hit, or at least it used to be a big hit. We know we know how reprints, uh, we know how reprints affect things. We'll see, we'll check as I go through and edit this video. Right. Oh, we got something borderless there. What's it going to be? Judy? Spectator seating. Okay. We like that. The Frostfang 2. Nice pack. Hannah Ships Navigator. Lots of good stuff there. Cartographer Hawk. This is a, uh, this was a rare in the, uh, the Commander decks. And I think Darkstone Mutation might be worth a little bit. Can't remember. Command Tower. Like I said, all kinds of pieces and parts for your Commander decks. And we're only, what is this, six or seven packs in so far? So we're doing really good. Wrath of God, the uh, the gold standard of board wipes, if I do say so myself. Chainer Dimension Master, originally out of Torment. Kimika. I feel like this guy's been printed just as much as Tolerand. Just going to say it. Uh, Eternal Witness, pretty nice. Deep Analysis. Keep that one PG-13. And then... We're on to pack eight. Come on, Julie. Where are you hiding? Idol of Oblivion. Zancha Sleeper Agent. Mau. Loyal Companion. Palace Jailer. Lots of good stuff in this set out of the conspiracy. The, the two conspiracy sets. Uh, Take the Crown. And I can't remember the name of the first one. Maybe it was just Conspiracy. Maybe it'll come to me. Maybe it won't. But you know what I'm saying. Foil Commander Sphere, Rejuvenating Springs, Goto Bandit Warlord, and another Judy. Another Ashnod's Altar. Exanguinate, uh, Vandal Blast. 
Like, see, all those three cards right there can probably be counted towards the total of the box. Just because they're such all-stars. And I like these 20-card packs. So much fun. If you've never played Limited Commander, got six of these packs, built a deck out of them, and played against your friends, you're definitely missing out. I suggest it. A Zombie Lady of Scrolls. Yahini. Is Rogue's Passage still good? I'll check. I'll check and see if it is. Generous gift. Palace Sentinels and a Gargantia. These open nice and easy too with the pull, the pull strap, the pull tab, whatever you want to call it. Safara Skyblade. This is a card that uh, surprisingly isn't bulk like I thought it was. Vertiloth the Ancient. Animal Magnetism. I believe Animal Magnetism was rare way back in the uh, Onslaught days. Right. I feel like we're due for a big hit. Where is it? Captain Ripley Vance. Champion's Helm. Archfiend of Despair. That's a nice one. Sakiku. So we needed a big hit. And I think Archfiend is still pretty good. Back in Battle Bond, that was like a $40 card. So hopefully, hopefully it retains some of that value. So many hits though. Lifeblood Hydra. <laughs> the man himself. Richard Pima Renegade. Predatory Rampage. Command Tower. I feel like this would be a good upgrade if you're playing the uh, the Cats and Dogs deck. That could be a good Command Tower for you. I feel like it fits the uh, the vibe. Foil Terramorphic Expanse. And this is the uh, the really cool artwork out of Jumpstart. Uh, the Jumpstart Maelstrom deck. Fiery Confluence. Curtains Call. Experiment Crodge. Don't know why that card made it in. It wasn't very good back in the Dissension days, and it's still not good in 2020s. I was going to say 2024, but this was released I'm, this was released last year. so Wouldn't have made much sense if I'd have said in 2024. I guess it would have. Who cares? Boom Pile. Grand Abolisher. Ghoul Caller Geese. Artwork on that is so cool. Victimize. It's about a five or six dollar saga card for the longest. Dread Return and a Mirror Smith. Right. Four Bears Blade. We got something borderless. Another borderless land. Undergrowth Stadium this time. Ashling the Pilgrim. Goreclaw. Can't believe they uh, downshifted Goreclaw. Lightning Greaves. It's another one of those all star uncommons. Entourage of Trust. Counterspell. And Foundry Inspector. We've got a whole stack of packs left here, everybody. Hopefully lots of lots of beef to come. Meyer Triton. Tempt with Vengeance. Evacuation. And a Naheb the Eternal. Putting in our mythic stack there. Thran Dynamo. It, ooh, and there's another one of those. Is Minecrank in here? I can't remember if Minecrank's in this set. I don't think it is. But if Minecrank was in here, that would definitely... Uh, Definitely add some value. That card went insane over the past couple weeks. Personal tutor. Yes, I'm the Wandering Bard. Tatiova. Return to dust in the borderless frame. Meyer Triton and a wolf giant. Come on. Glad we started off with that fierce guardianship. That's gonna it's gonna really help the box. Gilded Lotus, not the right one. Mines Glow. And a Zlatalpa. Rockamar. Slice and Dice, Reality Ship, Best Uncommon, probably, out of Fate Reforged. I don't know if you guys remember those, at the pre-release, they came with like a Ugin's Fate booster pack. And you can get some really cool alternate arts out of those packs. Taking you way back. Sword of the Animus, Solid Rare. Eureka, that was a really good hit for the longest time. They, they printed it into the ground. We'll take a Soul Ring. Cross and Tusker. It's the Flame and Thorn of the Black Rose. Got four more packs left, David. See if we can get some more nice hits. There we go. Free spell. Flawless Maneuver. Toxic Delish. What a pack. Nekusar the Mind Razor. Holy smokes. Letter of Acceptance. 
Witching Well, Dread Return, and a Haunted Cloak. Definitely going to help the box total. Ghostly Flicker, Divergent Transformations, Sublime Exhalation, and Wrinkle Master of Pranks. Arcane Signet, nice little uh, mana rock there for you. Battle Screech, and we got two more packs, so, you know, without totaling this up, I'm going to, oh, there we go, next to last pack, Magic, for David, we got the Julie, I was about to say this box is worth it, regardless of the price, because uh, we haven't totaled it up yet, but then the Julie shows up and knocks it out of the park, baby, let's go, sheesh. That's what we were after. What a good box now. That's going to probably make up nearly half the value. Stitcher Groff, Nesting Dragon, Nahiri. So guys, appreciate you joining me today. Let me know what you think about Commander Masters. Now that the prices are a little more palatable than they were when the set released. Um, and, you know, join me over on Drip. Please subscribe here. Um, I'm, I'm going to make an effort to put out more videos. I know I've been saying that for a month or two. But really going to make the effort because I like spending time with you guys. Love your faces. And we'll catch you in the next one.